Yo, 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 what's up, you two? I'm back with another banger with y'all, man. If you're new to the channel, go that like button, subscribe, and go comment. This is my week 13 recap. The Ravens versus the Steelers, and um, it was a pretty uh, a close game. Um, I definitely mentioned my prediction, but it was, it was going to be a close game, like I always mentioned, between these two teams. And uh, one thing that I noticed, this is uh, Big Ben last ride. And uh, let's get on with the defense. Let's get on with, with, with the offense, man. With the offense, man. Um, looked, it looked pretty good in the first half. Uh, with the Ravens definitely was on a good start. Um, definitely, uh, started, we definitely had a good start with good energy, good effort. But um, there's a lot of things that we still have to work on as a team moving forward. I mean, this is the game we have to learn from. So even though... We definitely could have blown this team up. Some things could happen, but hey, you gotta get credit to a defense, man. You know, I think that boy, E J D J T J, I don't look, I don't look. All these T J B Js, they got the Watts, the T J Y. He must have my video, man, because he was getting to Lamar, man. It's not even they was getting to Lamar because he wanted to. It's because the offensive line they have no protection effort whatsoever. So if you the Baltimore Ravens, just, just just focus on draft this upcoming season because that's gonna be the main concern when it when it comes to um Ravens wanting to get to the next level, man. Because it was just crazy how uh, T.J. Watt was just getting to Lamar left to right. That's all I kept saying. Shoot, I ain't gonna lie. It was kind of making me mad just seeing him get to the other side of the football field. But he's just great to do the talent. He has like a mountain number of sacks this year. Um, he's definitely like a front runner for a deuce player of the year. So let's give some credit when this dude, this Pittsburgh defense was ready. They were kind of, they were definitely aware of Lamar, what Lamar can bring to the table when it comes to playing against the quarterback. But it's all good. Um, you know, the offense just got to hold their heads high. You know, t definitely got to be prepared for this team. And the next couple of, next couple of weeks we have faith these guys really soon again. So that time be here for you know. So it's gonna be pretty tough these games coming up. We have um, you know, Cleveland and Green Green Bay and Los Angeles. So the offense definitely has to tighten up and uh move forward, man. This is not a game that we should never get mad at. Um we went for it. I mean, uh, sometimes things don't happen, but what I mentioned before in the past we have to stop getting to these close game situations. It do not work at all costs. It has to it has to find a way to not it has to find a way to not even be in the situation. I mean, we can't get a, a first quarter touchdown, anything like that to help put us in a good situation. It's not about the first quarter or, or the time possession in the game, it's about just capitalizing and standing on top. So Ray was definitely have to find a way of just doing that and just, you know, always maintain these leads, man, because these leads can be gone and those in time, man, you can be up, you can be up like uh, ten points, and that's the you know it's a tie game, and if you don't if you don't stay on top of the game, then that's the you know a team can always go for a comeback, and I have definitely seen that with Pittsburgh, um, one of the best games that I expect the outcome to be, but hey, you gotta be prepared for the prepare for the worst and hope for the best. So that's how I look at with the Baltimore Ravens. Not count this team out. Like I said before, uh, shout out to Mar Andrews for stepping up and being the guy like he always been. He's a, a number one go-to receiver. Um, Hollywood Brown didn't kind of get no a lot of shine yesterday. I think that um, a lot of missed opportunities was, was definitely on forefront. Uh, I seen him play with Sammy, Sammy Watkins, didn't really gel a lot. So the receivers, I think this, the, the game with the receivers was wasn't jealous. So uh, we just got to learn to move forward and do better as a team. And the running backs, um, Definitely should be more involved. I didn't see a lot of run games supposed to. I kept saying a bunch of pass front, pass front. We cannot do that at all. We have to use time possession and run the ball to use these games. That's ball most style of play. And you already know I'm going to end it with. I'm going to end it with the defense. And the defense. Um, and defense pretty, pretty decent. But I just think that it wasn't enough to uh, to keep Ben, to keep, uh, ben Roethlisberger down for any longer. So... Defense definitely has to play better. Um, I didn't see the same energy I seen against uh, Cleveland or any other games before, but uh, it happens, you know. We have we we have to uh, you know tighten up. You know, we, like I said, Cleveland has a bye week. They fresh. They looking. They looking forward to come back and beat us, and we have to hold off. We, like, you know, the front seven they're pretty decent. You know, shout out to Calais Campbell, 
you got guys like Justice Hill and Odofe O. I said Justice Hill, Justice uh, Houston and Odofe O. Always shout out to the front seven. Like I always mention in these videos, these guys always step up and uh, you know bring their due diligence to the team. But uh, like I said, the Pittsburgh offensive line definitely stepped up because we couldn't even get to the cover like we wanted to. But um, it's okay. Uh, if you're the Ravens defense, you know, just keep your heads high. You know, I'm not looking to bash, you know, any of, the, any of you guys, but I just want to make sure that you guys are conscious and aware that don't let the game hold you back. We have to move forward and win out. And that's the recipe of, uh, you know, of standing on top of the NFL. Scoop, but uh, yeah, it's crazy, man. I'm just, I'm just kind of like a little disbelieved that we still lost this game like this. It definitely could have went better. But uh, sometimes, you know, things don't go as you expect it. You know, I always hope for the best when it comes to this team because we have so much opportunity. In my, in my point of view, in my point of view, I think we're a better team than Pittsburgh. I think we're a better team than Cleveland. And I, and I, and I, and I know for sure we are a better team than Cincinnati because just because just because of the experience we have, the players and everything else. And this is my team regardless. So I'm always going to support my team no matter what. So um. Like I said, the defense has got to step it up. They just have to look at film this week and uh, look over what, what was missed on these plays and what kind of what kind of stopped the defense from really getting to where they were. I know we had an interception. They called that one back with Averitt. So it was a lot of things in that Cleveland game that I just couldn't believe that I saw. They didn't, they didn't even give us a chance, man. And, uh, yeah, Mr. Marlon Humphrey, I got a, something to say to you, Mr. Marlon Humphrey. Man, man, stop missing these tackles, man. You always missing these damn tackles. I be saying, I be like, come on, Marlon Humphrey. You just, man, I, I really don't want to say too much about you, but I'm going to go ahead and say it, man. You better than man to man coverage because I be saying you always letting guys get open at times and give it up on plays, but it's really not your fault, though. I really don't want to blame it because it's really a, a team sport, you know, oriented game, but. I just blame the you know the team for I just blame the team for letting uh guy like number eleven get open number you know from the Pittsburgh Steelers because like I said before Pittsburgh Steelers be breeds some good receivers and and they would take advantage of our deep coverage um you know deep coverage you know secondary defense they would definitely take advantage of that because we were ranked number thirty almost to last and we cannot allow that at all bad enough and uh. Bad enough, we have to go against Cleveland this week coming up, and it's going to be another tough one. That's going to be another AFC division game. We have to, hope, you know, I have to be ready for, and hope that, and hope that Cleveland offense doesn't get hot. And like I said, Baker Mayfield was pretty uh, injured like, the last week we played him, but I think uh, this week coming up he'll be ready and uh, he ready to get back on that field and try to attack this defense. But the defense has to be ready. They have to work to work together as a team. You know, it's not an iron team. It's the it's all together to get together. Everyone to cheese more, but um, don't count this Ravens defense out. I just think they definitely can uh, find a way to uh, to pick up the pieces and move forward. We don't have this. We don't have no long. We have no time to screw around. This is being playoff mode right now. We just got knocked out from the first seed to the third seed. So um, you know, hope, hope that we can uh, try to find a way to stay on top, man. Because like I said, it's gonna be a a tough uh, schedule for us for the next. Uh, five, six games because we don't got this long for the season. We already in week thirteen, and week eighteen, so we got five more weeks until the season over. But um, like I said, uh, shout out to everybody for bringing their best effort to the table. I know that was a tough game; it was a hard pill to swallow. But hey, it happens. You have games like this. You have games where you're pretty sluggish, and you go back and forth, and then boom, we just lose. We just lose the confidence, and uh, we just lose the energy and effort. I just think the defense was tired yesterday. Just from Pittsburgh, you know, having some quite a quite a time in the football field, but it's all good. I just hope that we can win out this for the rest of the season. You know, um, it happens. So, um, like I said, if I mention anything from this game, feel free to do so. Hit that comment section. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, go comment, and I'll be back with the uh, with my uh, week. The week 14 predictions, another AFC division game, the Cleveland Browns versus the Baltimore Ravens. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm out with the world. You folks have a safe one. You stay blessed and uh, peace.